Uh, my name is Ken Spector. I'm here with Bill Ryerson, and he is with Population Media Center. And could you tell me a little bit about what Population Media Center does? Yes, we're working in about 24 developing countries around the world and also working here in Hollywood to use a particular strategy that is based on entertainment mass media to create characters in long-running serialized dramas who gradually evolve into role models for the audience for issues like use of family planning, elevation of women's status, daughter education, ending the practice of child slavery, which is still in existence in many countries, uh, protection of the environment, lower consumptive lifestyles, a whole range of issues basically related to global sustainability through soap operas, all in local languages. So we have programs in Hausa in northern Nigeria and Amharic in Ethiopia and in Kenya, Rwanda and Rwanda and Vietnamese on the voice of Vietnam and so on. We create locally produced programs. So each program is written for the country in which it's produced and it's written by local writers. All of our programs are run by country nationals. And in those programs, we're dealing with the key drivers of population and unsustainable lifestyles like daughter education like ending the practice of selling daughters into marriage at age nine, which is still the practice in some places in northern Nigeria, uh, like denying women the right to make decisions and giving women equal rights with their husbands in family life decisions. So we're role modeling those kinds of cultural shifts in line with the laws and policies of the countries where we're working. Um, in order to help them achieve their goals in creating programs that, in fact, become the top-rated shows on the air in many of the countries where we're working. How long have these shows been produced by Population Media Center, and have you seen any statistics which show success of your programs? We've been working um, since I started the organization in 1998. Our first program went on the air in 2002. And just to give you the data from that program, uh, it had 46% uh, of the population of Ethiopia as regular listeners to the program. In this case, it was a radio drama because only 4% of the population of Ethiopia can afford a TV. But most people have radios. So we had a huge audience. Married women who were listening tripled their use of family planning compared to a slight increase among non-listeners. Male listeners went for HIV testing, which we role modeled in the program at four times the rate of non-listeners, female listeners at three times the rate of non-listeners. In northern Nigeria, the program we have currently on the air is cited at family planning clinics by 67% of the people seeking services as the reason they came in. So they're hugely influential, but they're not telling people what to do. They're just role modeling behaviors and showing the realistic outcomes of those behaviors, good and bad, and the audience is deciding whom to emulate. So it's very respectful of audiences' decisions, you know, and giving them the right to decide whom to emulate rather than the typical health message of do this and don't do that. It's using media to make the planet sustainable. You do cover other issues like uh, perhaps an actor purchasing something uh, that's not out of a plastic bag, bringing his own bag. I guess that's not as big of a problem in some of these other countries, but purchasing products in better packaging, for instance. Well, of course, in most of the countries where we're working, plastic bags are not even an issue, although they are starting to become an issue in some countries where we're working. We are planning a program for the U.S., and we will address consumption issues here, uh, assuming we get the program going. This is not an easy market for a small NGO to work in. Where do you see the future of the, the media project in the next 10 years? Well, right now, as I mentioned, we are working in 24 countries. We want to broaden out into many more countries, um, at least 50 countries in the next five years, including the United States. The U.S. has a huge impact on the environment, people's consumption behaviors, and their family size decisions are critically important. So we want to work in this country as well as countries like India and Pakistan to use the same strategy to benefit both the people of those countries and the planet. So where can someone go to learn more about your organization? They can visit populationmedia.org and, and actually listen to some of the episodes of our programs. That's terrific work. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you Take care. Bye-bye.